Hello, and if you are just joining us, I go by the name of Miss Money Penny, and you're joining me live on the Breakfast Show, only here on Pi Radio. This is my second week of the Breakfast Show, and today it is my first interview with a good friend of mine. She goes by the name of Lauren Thomas Johnson. Say hello to the listeners. Hello. Oh yeah, your mic's working. Ooh, now, <laughs> now I can breathe in and breathe out, guys. It's all good. So, if you just want to tell the listeners a little bit about yourself how we know each other and what you've been getting up to during lockdown your businesses etc because you know you've been doing your thing girl <laughs> um yeah so i'm lauren thomas johnson um i hey. am a <laughs> god what, who, what am i i'm an ex-professional basketball player i've played all around the world i went to school um university in america on a scholarship playing basketball and um, that's actually how i met miss money penny and um, she plays basketball for you played for Stockport and then you played yeah. for Manchester. I try. I tried yeah. to play basketball. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I met um, her through basketball. And yeah, I um, like I said, I played basketball all around Europe. Um, and then had a baby four years ago. Um, I really suffered with postnatal depression. Um, and I was trying to get back into, you know, the whole snap back after you have a baby thing. Yeah. I put so much pressure on myself to really snap back and girl <laughs> didn't happen <laughs> i watched an episode of oprah and it was like calling the, the letting yourself go episode oh my god yeah oh god <laughs> yeah. you do let yourself go so yeah i just put a lot of pressure on myself when it came then back to working out and it was strange to me for something that was so so natural working yeah. out i've done it for so many years I play, i've been a professional basketball player for 20 plus years yeah now all of a sudden i've had a baby and because my mental's not there I was just really suffering with my body um and just had anxiety and everything so yeah I just started a brand I was going back and forth with it when I was struggling with my depression and my boyfriend helped me um Ryan shout out to Ryan the biggest the (laughs) the, it's like the biggie duet yeah (laughs) honestly he's like the biggest support and it's and it he kind of sets levels when it comes to like I think looking everything looks perfect on instagram in general for people but he is actually there by your side through all of it we argue all the time but it's cool to see (laughs) you know you can argue but still he's still there yeah yeah. he's not going anywhere yeah he He still he he still wants to you know shake me sometimes but that's fine (laughs) but yeah he um i had this idea about i really wanted a woman empowering brand and i didn't want it to just be you know unicorns and fairies i just wanted it to really empower women and really make women feel special and that's what um where mumbad came from yeah and mumbad's just a really all-inclusive brand you can be any shape any size not just for mums not just for mums and that's the whole point of it i picked the word mumbad because there's such a stigma around that word yeah that oh now you've had a baby you got a mumbad and i just wanted to be i wanted to use that word and make it anything i wanted it to be so you don't have to be a mom you don't have to any shape any size any color any race any anything and you can just get involved with mumbad and that's what led me into the lockdown into um my other brand snatched by low which is just snatch snatch get snatched and <laughs> um, yeah and i started that because at the beginning of the lockdown like everyone super anxious like what Crazy. is going on what, what is what is boris going to do next <laughs> so yeah um i said to, to my boyfriend i was like like ryan i just i think i'm gonna work out i'm just gonna go on live because i used to do that after i'd had henny i'd go on right, live every okay. wednesday no i'd way. be like come on mamas let's go it's our one hour to get ourselves up and get ourselves oh, moving that. so i was like i'm gonna do that again and hopefully that'll help people with the anxiety and if i'm honest it's just took off and now and you didn't want to do that initially because you was anxious yourself yeah so yeah so like step in and like being brave and being like okay now i'm gonna do it and i'm gonna share it with you lot yeah it is a weird feeling and mm-hmm. I, I mean I, when i first became promoter i wanted to do events but i didn't actually want to tell anyone about them yeah and it was like <laughs> it's weird. okay well now we have to jump out of this yeah to tell everybody and mm-hmm. and i get that kind of like anxious like fear of judgment and now you've got a crew like my I'm riders you, she's, my riders she calls them her riders but she's got an army of very 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 strong women that have probably grown low with you helping them i think throughout the just, period and that's what snatch by low is it's a workout subscription page so you sign up it's literally 12 pound 50 a month we have so many workouts Which to offer cheap. yeah and they're saved forever on the instagram they yeah. save forever and ever and ever and because i am an ex-professional athlete i know what i'm talking about so they're intense yeah. 
um, Ryan does them with me and they're just fun as well. <laughs> so like, we'll be mid-workout and he'll be like, right, rock it down, rock it down. And I'm like, oh my gosh. But yeah, it's see. just it's just a fun environment, non-judgment environment. You can be at any you, any stage, you can go at your own pace. That's what we really encourage. And it's just really taken off. We've got 300 plus women in there. Yeah, which is crazy. Yeah, just all literally working out together, getting snatched together. But I think it's like, I love it because it's like a mental... I know for that hour, I'm with my riders for an hour. We laugh, we joke, we work out together. And then we all go our separate ways and we come back again tomorrow. And it's just... And Ryan is here for it. Oh, Ryan is all the way here <laughs> for it. Right. I think the other week he had like one of his favourite dudes from Birmingham playing. Oh, yeah. And he was like wiling out. He and... shouts, he shouts. <laughs> so the music is playing on the Alexa. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. he's shouting like the Alexa is the actual DJ. So he's like, come on, DJ, run the track. And I'm like... Ryan, it's not an actual DJ, but yeah. Love that. Right, we're going to run a track now and then we're going to join again and have a little catch up again. What's in the future for you, okay? Up next, we got Future and Drake. This is Life is Good. Hello and welcome back. We are joined in the studio today on The Breakfast Show with the one and only Lauren Thomas Johnson. If you're just joining me, say hello, Lauren. Hello, I broke the headphones. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, just pull them oh out. <laughs> She's in. She's in. Are you in? It's okay. She's good. <laughs> we keep it 100. Don't worry. It's fine. <laughs> um, yeah. So I just want to. I just want to tell the listeners a little bit. So you do have one final business, which is called Wax. Yes, get waxed. Um, you've been doing that for years as well as years. It? Yeah. So after I stopped playing professional basketball and I came back to England, um, I was playing for Sheffield for the Sheffield Hatters. Ooh, that's um, where I started. Yeah, whoop, whoop. <laughs> and then I started playing for Manchester, and I was then just kind of getting over basketball. Yeah. I think I'd played it for so long, and the, there's so much politics. Dipping and, was, and out. Dip yeah, I was out. so over it. So I was like, I want to do something completely out of my comfort yeah. zone. So I became a waxer, and I'm um, eyebrow waxes, body waxes. Best of the best. Yes, everything waxes. Um, even down there, like, okay, know, okay. Really, 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 really. <laughs> um, yeah, so I started doing that, and then I was working at this place, and I loved it. Um, it got, I won't say it on the radio, but um, yeah, it got taken over by a new manager, and she was just vile, like a, a lot. Yeah, she was just a vile woman, <laughs> and I don't say that about women because I try and empower them, but honestly, this one, she was vile. And I was like, I just need to leave. And all my friends for so long, you know, Rachel. Yeah, for yeah. So long oh, she'd Rach. been like, oh, oh yeah. Wow. She's just like, you just need to do it on your own. You just need to go out and do it on your own. Do it on your own. You can, you can do that. So that's what I did. So now I've got um, get wax. That, that's what we're called. Get Love underscore that. wax is on Instagram, and you can just DM there. Um, yeah, for a book. Rach is the uh, example, the true example of a rider. Oh yeah. Like she is probably the reason that you called the rest of them girl riders. riders yeah, she's, she's the best. She's sister, she's sister now. She's like I for like. Her. I yeah. need some uh, like a reach in my life. Like do this <laughs> you now. Need, everyone needs a Rachel and a Ryan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, yeah. That's it. That's it. And so what we want to talk about next is Snatched by Low is actually doing a six week challenge. Yeah. Of subscription. So so brick it down. Okay, so the six week challenge starts again today and it's called the six week find your magic challenge. Aww. Now that does sound hairy fairy, but at Snatched by Low it's not just about you getting snatched and your body, you having the most ripped abs and the most nicest hamstrings in the world. It's also about, I'm all about the mental and I really, really want people to mentally grow because that's something for the past two years I've really been working on myself. That lasts longer as well. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Um. And so, yeah, we've, me and Ryan, like, put our heads together because we didn't want to just do a regular degular fitness where it's no. you take a progress picture and you know work out and do an extra couple of workouts for a week and i'm not bad mouthing any of those people that have done that but snatch is a little bit deeper than that i want you to pick a body goal but i want you to pick a life goal so that's what it is yeah. it's this find your magic challenge it's um one body goal one life goal you gotta pick one oh. and basically for the next six weeks we are going to work on that and it can be honestly i said to my riders it can be anything from you want to th think up a name for your business. You want to get your business off the road that you've been thinking of. To literally, it can be to the moms in the group. Like, you just want to drink that hot cup of coffee. Because yeah. sometimes for us moms, we, yeah. <laughs> we don't get that. Or it can yeah. even be something as little as, I don't I don't think I want to go for that one walk. Or I want to go 
anything that you know just something yeah. that's to you um so yeah that's what the it starts today you can subscribe on mumbod.com and um, if you just head over there if you use the code actually snatch 20 you will receive um 20 percent off your first month um and if you work for the nhs um dm us a picture of your id and you get your first one for completely free but yeah we're all about love that your body your mind your body and your soul over at snatch because if you if your brain ain't right your body ain't right yeah i think as well you know like as as women and guys probably like you do fluctuate in your life exactly with weight and with feelings and whatever and i feel like uh, when you work out your body it improves your mind but if you work on your mind it'll always help improve your body Mm -hmm. but that lasts longer you might fluctuate in weight but if you're always strong enough in the mind you know to kind of sort it out it lasts longer yeah, i think 100 percent. and i think because mental health is something that we Huge. just oh my god we just don't it's never been taken as Trust, serious yeah. as it should have been and i personally and i'll admit i was one of them people that never took it that serious because i no. thought oh i'm a strong person i've lived in america since i was 16 on my own i'm cool i'm good I've been there not re- yeah not realizing that a lot of them things have shaped me. A lot of them things have probably damaged me in the same breath. And then I got postnatal depression and it really made me think like yeah. your mind and who the people you have around you. And, your, and it, that's my big thing at the moment that I've been working on yeah. for the past two years, your energies. If, your en- if the people around you, the energies around you are good, then you will be good. If, you, if that's not, you know how many people I've had to cut off? Because I'm like, Trust. nah, bad energy. Stay mm-hmm. far away. Stay far away. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I think as well... Um, it's a generational difference as well so about three years ago I suffered really bad with anxiety right now I'm good I mean I mm-hmm. I paid to see somebody to sort mine out mm-hmm. so that's why I'm straight now because I invested in that but the thing is is you know all that all them years ago I told my mum and my mum got me an adult coloring book and I'm like no mum yeah I, every time I get in my car I'm crying and I don't know yeah. why mm-hmm. and we I, but I was going through like a lot of crazy stuff in like the first few mm-hmm. years of business and she bought me a coloring book and it's it's definitely a generational yeah. thing and, and sometimes i see like you know you think well not really think but like 40 plus year old people and when they're having a week of bad days i'm like no 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 i feel like it could be more serious than just yeah. a bad day because you don't have enough inside you to lift you up yeah yeah um but it's amazing what you're doing and thank um, you. yeah i'll always do my very best to support it oh thank you and if you, you do um like tie-dye at the moment you, are you still doing your tie-dye stuff? yes they're gonna come back in stock very very soon on really mumbad.com all the stock is coming back in on mumbad we do sell um waist belts waist trips well they're not the sweat belts they're not waist trainers the sweat belts um just to help you sweat on that mid area and they're really good for your back support we also sell resistant bands and um, they come in a pack of oh, yeah. three strong medium and light they're only 15.99 and they come in the most oh, the best colors ever what colors um so with the new colorways that we've got we've got like a really cute we had like a really good tiffany green ryan will argue and say it was mint ryan if you're listening it was <laughs> tiffany green He's definitely listening. I, know that. <laughs> I know that already is this but yeah we got brand new colorway of a belt coming out so i'm excited for that it was pink last time oh yeah so it's orange this time oh. little exclusive love that <laughs> love that little exclusive um but yeah, really good luck on your six-week program. Thank you. And everybody, if you are feeling it, because she's an amazing woman, make sure you go and check her personal Instagram. It is Lauren Thomas Johnson. All of the links for everything is over on there. Yep. And I hope that you have the best next few months. Thank oh, you. and congrats on the new house, girl. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. Thank you.